guys, welcome to episode 3. In this session I'm going to be showing you what GraphQL is and how it differs from a REST API. So to begin with, what is a REST API? Um, a really basic example of this would be if you were to land on a blog page, we would display we would have displayed a title, a description, and a user that's posted it, so John Smith in this case. In terms of requests, how that would look like is the client side would use an API and it would retrieve information. That request would look something like the bestblog.com forward slash posts forward slash the ID of the post. In this case, ID1. So that would then return a data object. That data object will have um, multiple properties. It would have the title, description, image name maybe. Even though we're not displaying an image, it will still return the image name. Date posted, we're not, we're not using that, and then user ID. As you can see in our example, it says John Smith, it doesn't say number four. So that would sig uh, signify that it would need another request. That other request would look something like the bestblog.com forward slash users forward slash four. This would be fired after this is returned because we would need that number. That would then return another object which has this information. So it'd have name, date of birth, phone number, website, company name. We would then use that name and display it in our example. As you can see, we've got a lot of data here that we're not even using. So that's issue number one. And issue number two is we have to make another request. So we have to wait for this to return. We have the ID. And we then fire off another request. That request then gives us the name. So obviously issue number one is of the date that we're not using. And number two is we're making two requests. But it doesn't seem that bad at the moment because this is just a small example. But if you imagine an e-commerce site which has variants, uh, multiple tables, etc. Um, it might have images, it might have stock levels. You can see that scalability is an issue and if you're firing off loads and loads of requests you're ultimately making it much slower, a much slow, slower experience for your um, customers and clients. So basically GraphQL came into place just to overcome this problem and to enable you just to make one specific request. So let's have a look how GraphQL differs. So without going into too much detail, um, the difference between GraphQL API and the REST API is with a GraphQL API you ask specifically for what you need and you get it so you only make one um, HTTP request. And an example of the query would be get post, post, you'd pass it the ID of the post and then you would retrieve ID, the title, description and then you would get the user, if this existed, if we had this in the query, it would know to get the user from the user entity and then only show us the name. That would return an object like this. So as you can imagine, it's much, much quicker and we've just got the information that we need specifically. So basically that is the main differences. Um, obviously, this is just the theory behind it. Um, we'll go into the we'll go into more detail when we cover Apollo and how um, like the queries and stuff are actually made. But yeah, that covers it for now.